need to close that door, Sydney. People complaining about the draft. I don't want something stronger? No thanks. Still a tea turtle though. Good for you. Ooh, I'm afraid we've got a bit of a USB situation. Unidentified smelly bastard. I think it's those cheese and onion sandwiches. I made this. I'm grateful snobby bitch. How's the thing you're working out for you? It's okay, but it ain't no real fag. Well, it's funny because you still smell like a real fag. What's eating you? That Sydney acting as if she owns the place. She does own the place. I know, what's that all about? Was Uncle Sammy on ketamine or something? Hey, watch your trap. Don't let your dad catch you saying that sort of thing. You know what I mean. I think I might have to give her the ten. <sighs> no, Conan. She deserves it. I agree, but not today. Today is a perfect day for the ten. <sighs> Conan, don't. Rest your bones, mother dear, and enjoy the show. Go. No. Sydney. Why aren't you drinking? You know I don't drink. What's my name? Have you forgotten it? My name. Conan Foot. I mean, what do they call me around here on these streets? You mean, what is the street name you've christened yourself with? Spit it out. MC. Foot in your ass. Too right it is. And now I am going to lay on you with the full ten lines. Ready, my people? Let me tell you all a story about a bitch named Sid. Been following me around since I was a little kid. Everyone round here calls her the bin lid. You wouldn't get corrected if you mistook her for a flid. She's boring and plain like a lumpy ice bun. Like the kind she can't eat because she's studying to be a nun. She's about as useful as a crusty toenail clipping or a pork sandwich without the dripping. I can't believe that we're related that she's really my cousin. I'm only giving her the ten because she ain't worth a dirty dozen. smiling at. Why don't you give it a try if you think it's so bloody easy? You ain't got it in you, you mousy pathetic. Don't look now, it's my favourite motherfucker. The dirty ass stink dick child support ducker. Lying all the time, says he don't dig popcorn. Scoffs a whole bowl while he's scoping foot porn. Congrats are in order, or so he say. But his mum's still smoking 20 dongs a day. Sweating all the time, he's like a whore in church. His crew's the Adams family and they've left him in the lurch. He's only inspired when he's on the crapper. No wonder he's the world's shittest rapper. A bit quiet in here, isn't it? Something to die. May not be catching you rapping, boy, oh. Not today. Not after I've buried my brother. But, Dad, it's Sydney. She's insulting Mum. She's refusing to drink. Oh, really? All right, folks. We all know why we're here. At this time, in this place. It was our Sammy's dying wish that we select few all. Congregate here and have a nice drink of this in his honour. The last ever batch of his beloved homebrew. His essence, if you will. So what are you all waiting for? Come and get it, you beauties! 
tastes the See, now drink is in there. You know, I've never drank, William. Yeah, I know, and I know you witnessed my sister drink herself to death. But this is not about me, this is not about you or her. This is, this is about our Sammy. So, you have, have a drink, and you can leave. This is my house. Ah, good, so you inherited the house, and none of us here are bitter about it. But today, you'll show our Sammy some respect. And you will have a drink. How many of us are there here? Nine. And yet there are only eight bottles. So? So, obviously, we're bottles short because Sam didn't want me to have one. Since he respected the fact that I don't drink that pish. Like I said, you can either have a drink, or you can leave. Ask first for the fucking letterbox. Please. Just have one drink. It's not gonna kill you. Alright, cheers! Cheers! cheers. Hi Sam. 